this is one of the workshops where we're bringing in people from all walks of life to just get into the process of building the air quality monitoring systems. And this is in a way so that we can be able to inform policy in the end. We believe that this project in Nairobi really comes at a perfect time because um, there is really a need to look at uh, mechanisms and at ways uh, to make cities healthier, greener and more low carbon. So doing a study where we can collect data on air pollution uh, can really help us uh, to inform policy making and also better planning for the city. We are here because uh, issues of air quality is of great concern. Uh, to us as Nairobi City County. One of the biggest struggles of being in Nairobi is the mobility um, issue where there are congested streets and this directly impacts on the, your health because you have huge traffic congestions, you have pretty toxic um, gases in the air and this really directly impacts a huge number of population. So um, monitoring air is one of the ways of how to inform how we can organize our cities. The work with UN Habitat and UN Environment, for me on a personal note, is, is, is very, um, very important. Because what it's allowed us to do two things. One is engage on this whole idea of urban planning. The second thing that has helped us to do is to connect at the city level. And so in terms of pollution, where we have the increase in population density, where we're going to see more impact on health, is at the urban scale. So this is a really exciting project for us. This is something that uh, started because we're interested in air pollution in Nairobi, and we're interested in figuring out how can we, get, how can we measure air pollution. So we started off working with the University of Cambridge, the Seneca team, and then we've teamed up with UN Habitat and UNEP now to be able to build these devices and prototype them.